Man, you can't tell me that doesn't look good. It looks really, really good. What's going on to all my DB Dignity supporters and all my newly found YouTube viewers? While the race season is currently at a standstill, uh, because it's the off season, I wanted to bring you guys an opportunity to view the new Carpy Ride 103 Pro 10.3 inch screen. This is gonna be a complete full blown review of this screen. Inside of this review, I'm gonna be giving you a chance to potentially get this at a lower price uh, utilizing a discount code. Who don't like discounts, you know what I mean? So uh, with that being said, man, we're gonna dive right into this screen. Uh, the CarPure 103 Pro allows you an opportunity to add Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, AirPlay, Auto Link to a car or vehicle, whatever it is, um, without the hassle of going inside your dash, adding in wires. It is completely touchscreen, uh, which is a good thing about this the display itself um, and in addition to that man it gives you an opportunity to you know, spruce up your ride you know so with that being said let's dive right on into this I've been ultimately excited to get this and I'm going to be installing this inside of my Camaro today uh, the Camaro does not have a touch screen or it doesn't have an interface at all um, that is completely user friendly so we're gonna add this in. Now, immediately off the bat, when you open this box, you can see the first thing you come to is the screen itself. Uh, the screen, which we're gonna dive into that shortly. So I'm gonna tuck this off to the side. These are your mounting components. Like two different types of ways. One is you can mount to your, um, your windshield or you can mount it using the mounting adapter plate and mount it to your dashboard. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this. I think I'm gonna end up using this, which has a 3M backing plate, and you can mount it to your dashboard. Some of your cords that we have, this is gonna be your charging cord, uh, which is a 12V cord that plugs right into like your cigarette adapter or a cigarette lighter adapter. And you have your aux cord, your 3.5 millimeter aux cord. Last thing is we have our manual and like your quick step-by-step -step how to do situation. 10.3 Carpy Ride again. Man, you can't tell me that doesn't look good. It looks really, really good. Um, it's completely elongated. However, I think it's gonna look good in the side of the car, man. And again, it's completely touchscreen. Now, one of its major features is that it's completely Bluetooth. Completely Bluetooth. What happens is you can Bluetooth your phone into the device, and then the device itself, you can Bluetooth it to your um, radio. Also, you can connect this utilizing uh, an AM, FM transmitter. You tune your radio to whatever station and you can pick the station on this device if you wanted to do it that way as well. Uh, so without further ado, man, we're gonna go ahead and dive right on into this, man. Let's go and take this outside. Let's get it installed. That way we can play with it and we can see its capabilities to as full as you dig. So stay tuned. guys as you can see I got it installed um, and I absolutely love the way it looks in here um, the interface itself is very user-friendly 
the Bluetooth connection was easy. All you had to do was hit this transmit button, select your device that you want to connect to, uh, and that's going to be the outgoing device. So that's going to be the car. And then you connect this Bluetooth button, use this Bluetooth button, and it connects to your phone. Um, the Android Auto, once you set it up, it connects automatically each time and it's literally like easy to use now i love its interaction i love the way the it's sensitive to the touch um now i have an interface where i can utilize my maps i can play my music as well uh with no problems um however there are a couple cons to this and I'm gonna have to be forefront about it. Um, number one, I don't like the cords. So as I explained earlier, this interface, you have to utilize the plug and play adapter and this plugs right into your cigarette lighter uh, 12V charge port. Um, and, and the cord for this car, it's gonna be dangling. The last uh, con to this thing that I do not like is once it's connected to your audio output that's going to be your radio me personally I'm not sure if this is going to affect anybody else but I lose all functionality of like my changing uh, the music um, however there is a workaround to this I also have Google Voice so if I said hey Google it'll change the music for me as you can see it just populated there and so I'm um, gonna cancel that real quick but as you can see right now let me see I can show you this so right now I have it on this song and if you hit this button it's not changing and nor is it changing on my steering wheel by selecting the up on this uh, let me go back to it. I hit it in. So, yeah, if you rotate it up, it's supposed to change and it's not changing. However, if I say, hey, Google, n next song. So now it just changed to the next song. Uh, so that is a nice workaround. Um, and I actually prefer it to be that way to be honest with you instead of rotating this because I always kind of like struggle with rotating this overall is this unit worth it it's gonna get my vote um, it is at the price of 309 it's easy to hook it up it's easy to set up your devices there's no wiring involved you know no taking apart any dashes or anything like that so this unit is definitely worth it and it looks like absolutely nice in here guys um i've already sent out pictures of this to a couple buddies um and you know they love they, they like the way it looks like i said the only thing is the core so with that being said this device I think you know if you would like to get something like this without you know having the hassle of having to hook up an uh, interface radio go for it uh, I'm gonna add a link and that link is gonna be placed right here at the bottom somewhere uh, yes I'm gonna add a link to this and on top of that I'm gonna add this device's name and guess what like I said before if you use my code right here dig in if you use this code you can get this interface for at a cheaper price or if you utilize my link that's going to be in the description below as well you can get this at a discounted price less than that 309 um so i'm gonna say go for it guys don't miss out on such a great opportunity this is a great way to upgrade any older dash uh, without the hassle. Thank you for watching and happy shopping. You, you did.